Well, wasn't this nice? The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking, drunk it, then blown my head off. Any time the prison riot had bought me was starting to run out, I had to keep moving. Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward, and nothing changes. Every bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time. Police food, the same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with. Becker's blood money from the good doctor. Serrano had canceled one side of that transaction. The other was on me. Control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running. It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. Tire no buraco! 
the heat was rising, that meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. One thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo, it was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. Whatever depressing fate lay on the other side of those doors, there was no point in putting it off any longer. Uh, 